We don't really lawn chair fish. Oh, oh, oh fish on, fish on. There it is. Is that a steelhead? Ah. What a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Yeah! Oh, Get another one. Log trucks. No, that might be actually an angler. What does that mean? An angle or an angler was a hook? An angle, name of the hook. Yeah, because so, it's angle. Yeah, so an, <laughs> so an angler is like a, is like a, but, um, a hook. You're a hook user. I'm He's a hooker. hooker. All right, good morning, guys. We are back on it today. We got uh, okay, the buddy. Okay, started over. I was leaning weird and... <laughs> <clears throat> Good was, morning. Weird, guys. Asher's back here leaning weird. All right, guys, what is up? We got Welcome the home. Welcome to another. Sorry. <laughs> you guys Welcome are horrible. Another. This is how we do it, though. This is no, terrible. No, you, no. Right, you just ready? have to get into the groove. Yeah, you gotta get the groove. Right? We gotta, like, we gotta get all the stuff. Take 75. All right, guys, as you can see, it is dark outside. It's dark in our car. We got some lights going on. We got Talia right here. It's her birthday. Welcome to another adventure of fishing with Talia. <laughs> yeah, fishing with Talia today. The bike. It's gonna be featuring Talia. <clears throat> All right, guys. Featuring welcome me. back to another adventure on the bite. We got the homie Talia with us today. It's her birthday. Step in Happy here. Happy birthday, Talia! Happy birthday, Talia! And uh, she hasn't caught a. F when was the last time you caught a fish? How, how old were you? Oh, ten years old, probably. So we're uh, we're still on the hunt for the first steelhead of the year. Last time we came out targeting them, it was a little bit hard to get our lures through all of the coho um, in order to get steelhead to hook up. There's a lot of coho in the system right now. And when you hook up into that ho coho, they blow out the hole. They scare all the fish in it. And the steelhead that are skittish are going to bail and they're not going to be around. Hopefully we can get into some of those steelhead today. It's been raining a lot lately and that rain is going to push a lot of water through the system and it's going to allow a lot of those salmon, those old coho and the few old chinook that are still in the water to move for. up river and new steelhead to enter the system. So don't go nowhere. It's going to be a lot of fun while we celebrate our friend Talia's birthday yeah. out here on the hey, river. Why do you hit that like? Hit that thumbs up just because it's her birthday. Her Show fish. her some love. Write a comment. Happy birthday. Birthday fishing! Yeah, let's get her a birthday fish. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. You're watching the bike. Yeah. She didn't fall. We thought. I didn't fall. <laughs> so our good friend Talia here hasn't been fishing since she was a little kid. She doesn't know how to cast. She doesn't know how to use a spin cast reel. She doesn't know how to work a pocket of water and avoid getting snagged. This is Chris teaching her how to cast for the first time. She has no idea what she's getting into. Her day is going to be full of slaying salmon. We don't really We don't really lawn chair fish. In a boat you're just hanging out, but well, we were moving in the boat. My dad was always moving. But then I would I would fish on. Oh, oh, fish on. Fish on. There you go. Ash is on. Yeah, boy. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Oh yeah, did you see that roll? Didn't right he didn't break off, he just spit it out. Tell you, throw it like more straight across, like he's going to, not where he's at, but. That was too loose. That's all right, we're in front of that. You see that big rock out there? Yeah. Try to make it spin on the other side of that rock. Give it like 10 more cash. There's a fish. Oh, oh. oh. That'd be kind of cool. No, it's a real pretty trout though. Whoa, oh. He jumped off that He asshole. skipped it, he skipped off. Well, later bud. Wow, what a what a um, wiry fish. Yeah, come down here a little ways. There we go, fish. Oh, it's a trout? That's a good trout. Ash is on to another cutty. Look at this beautiful, That's all pink. beautiful cutthroat. 
Look at the cheek on that thing. Bright colors. So you Big don't spots. eat those or you only eat the bigger ones? Look how, look how bright the, look the cut is. That's it's like that cut bright, Check bright pink red color. And then just gorgeous colors beautiful down fish. inside. Just a beautiful, beautiful I fish. I think cutthroats might be one of my favorite colors. And if you fish. look right here, see the bottoms of these fins? See the little white spots on the bottoms of these fins? Those little white spots means that this fish has been um, fanning on sand and, and making a bed and kicking back a sand bed. So this is a sea run cutthroat that went down to the bay. That's where that bright pink mm -hmm. came from. It's because it's been eating shrimp and stuff like that. And it's been causing the colors to come out. Later in the season, that will get way, way um, milder. It'll start to look more almost the color pink that my spinner is. Or like like a, a mild red, but right now, fresh from the ocean, fish has got a lot of color in it. I'm gonna get it back in the water real quick because it's already been out for a little while. It's probably not too stoked, but what a beautiful, beautiful little cutthroat trout right there. And I caught a rock. Mm. What'd you catch? A rock. How big is it? I think it's whole river. It's real nice little. We just got down here to this pocket of water. We're gonna throw some hardware at it for a little bit. I got bright green, sparkly R&B on. And it's a beautiful morning. Uh, let's get into some fish. She does. She does, she's on. First cast, mother <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a hand. We just walked up and she just stuck it in there. Holy. I thought so too, dude. I was like, is that a steelhead? It's not though. Yeah, Talia, birthday fish. Birthday fish. Nice hen too. She got some nice colors. Birthday fish. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, get down. Let's make it all safe. Oh yeah. Ah! Nope. I don't like it when they squirm. Classic. Just watch out for that hook. We just pop this hook out. Here, come here, buddy, baby. Talk to me. I cast it in, I got a fishy first, first one! Cast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, fish fish right. That's all right, that's all right. Her, babe. <laughs> We're gonna freeze frame it, you going. And then the fish. Great. Don't do that. All right, break it down to me real quick. I caught a fishy. First cast. Right when we got down here, I don't even, did you get your lure yet? What, yeah? What, nope. No, nope. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna say right then, I'm gonna cast. I'm not gonna wait and let Talia have the first cast in this hole. And uh, didn't even get a chance. She what color? Stuck it in. What, what color? color? Show me that lure. Oh, it's yellow. Sparkly. A, yellow a little chartreusey green. Sparkly. Oh yeah. Sparkly green R and B right there. It's that nice torpedo body we've been talking about. All right, let's get Magic. another one. Yeah, I like your uh, enthusiasm. <laughs> that was pretty cool, guys. We just. Uh, walked down here and we were kind of getting ready and getting stuff set up. We were about to set the cams in place and um, Talia just made a cast without us even noticing and bam, hooked up. It's kind of like um, a whole process to like find a spot, set a cam in a little spot, set your bags down and then like get into fishing. And then when you leave, you're like, oh, we're gonna pack everything up. And just recently we were fishing with Chris's uh, son, Sage. He caught his first salmon and it was the same situation. We started to pack everything up. And he's like, I wanna make another cast and just hooked up. So that was cool. Um, you know, we love to get the actual hook set on cam, but often we're fumbled around doing stuff and Bro, then some friend I, sticks a lure in the water. The camera water was on, I wasn't aimed at it, but the camera was on, we got full audio of her yelling, I'm on! I'm on, I'm on! Yeah, Amazing. So, so I that I was said, real cool. I got a fish! I got a That's fish! That's exactly what I think she said <laughs> hey, too. Hey, what'd you yeah, say so. I got a fish! <laughs> so good. So yeah, super good. We're gonna get back to throwing lures. Let's get into some fish. Alright. Yeah, that fish is big. Yeah, we got 
got a park right there. The color. Dude, look how wrapped it is. That means it's full of eggs? Yeah, it would be if it was a female. Well, it might. That's the big one, though. Now. Oh, it's way bigger. <laughs> oh yeah, we could lo loosen the drag just a little bit on it. Look way to man. way yeah. to stick a second salmon Seriously. inside the first Bruh. first couple of hours of fishing for your first time oh, fishing nice. in a bunch of years, Talia. Right? I know. I got the luck. Boy. People hunt hunt fish for seasons and seasons and seasons and don't catch any. That's Talia's like twelfth cast or something like wrapped, that. Look how wrapped this fish is, dude. The other one did that too, wrapped all, all the, the way up. Yeah. It's almost like, you know, when you tape an alligator shut, it like Yeah, that's so. exactly what it seemed like. That was like the fifth wrap around. Sorry, little fishy. Okay. Let's go. All right. If you want to go out in the water, I'll kneel down. I don't know where the rod is. I'm trying to get it away from Just, me. Just set it anywhere. Good, bud. Grab that tail. Punch it just like I know that here. Punch, punch, punch. Oh yeah, Talia's second fish on her own. What a beauty, too. Like I said, we can't get past these coho to get these steelhead get the because they are so feisty. That a girl. Birthday girl. Let All right go. now. Beautiful, put, beautiful it, fish. put his head in down there and just hold on the tail. Hold the tail. Yep, don't need to. When they're not excited. Yeah. You're happy, aren't you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! That was my hat. <laughs> Dude, I felt that is a rip off my head. I think I might have another beanie in the car. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. It's fat. I could tell that it's that it's a, a large hen. Nice. Its belly is look just, the, just bulging. Look at the flare on that chin. And look at the flare on that chin. That is wild, gorgeous. Well, that's, that's a cutthroat. That's a cutthroat trout. See that red in its in its oh, jawline there? That's why they call it cutthroat because it looked like it looks like its throat's been cut. Good 14-inch trout right there. And again, you can see this fish has been spawning. The tips of its fins right here are white. And look at the size of the head on it. It's, mm. its head is just so big compared to its body. It means it's lost some weight. And then it's got this big bulgy belly. And this big bulgy belly is probably a whole bunch of roe. So we're gonna get it back into the water real quick to ensure that there's cutthroat here next year. And uh, it obviously isn't having a fun time in my hands. So it's just, it's awesome to be able to get into these big, beautiful sea run cutthroat trout like that. Right, like think about days that we've gone trout fishing. Right. Still no, 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 ho, 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 ho. Oh, no, ho, ho. Oh, dude, you got a big out. one. Get that branch, you got the branch, you got the branch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say that branch. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah taking that whole little maker down. <laughs> we're, just, we're just being safe about it. Showing these boys what time it is. Yeah. Little tight quarters.
There you go. There you go. Go easy. Go easy. Italia's day. Oh, watch up this way. Go down hard. Ooh, Loosen that drag up a tiny bit, Chris. That's nice a good fish. Right it's bright. There. That's a beautiful man. Somebody the color of that jaw made me think it was a steelhead for a half a sec. This green is on fire. I told you green was the good one. What do I do? Yeah, yeah, just pass in the line when you get the opportunity. It's you know what reeling I mean? out when okay. I let it. Yeah, you don't, need, you don't really need to reel it in more. Just, yeah, yeah, like that. Exactly. But it's still... But right now, you don't really need to reel the fish in anymore. If you just bring your rod tip higher and just kind of drag the fish to Chris, then reel in like a little bit again right here to get some more leverage, you know what I mean? Like bring your tip towards the fish and then pull back towards... Yeah, exactly. You can reel up that slack. Yeah, there you go. Now just bring it in, to, bring it in to Chris, yeah. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. This might be your best fish in the bag. The, the color and the color. This little cute girl here. Yeah. Look at that green. Go ahead and open the bail. Nice hand. Look at that arm beat hanging out. Let's pull it out. Way to stick a third fish today, Talia. Look, <laughs> Look how nice this uh, inline arm be. Or, uh, sorry. Look at this torpedo body R&B. Got a little green, red dots there, pink dots. Thing's been on fire right there. Look Italia, what a fish. fish. Here's over here. Oh, it's fine. So you hold the tail because it flips. Well, if something? you hold the tail, she can kind of revive. Like she was ready to go. But when they're tired, you can just hold the tail and they'll kind of kick right here. Oh, okay. And then she'll you'll feel it when she wants to leave. That was money, bro. Boom. Yeah. Okay, let's get another. Let's get another. There you go. Fish! Chris, Chris, I'm on! Is that a fishy ash? Eh? Is that a fishy? Whew. Yeah, that's a good fish. It's thrashing hard. Whew. Yep, it's all wrapped up. Come on, baby, let's unwrap you a little bit. Oh, watch that tree. Oh, you're in between. Oh, buddy, watch out. Come on, baby, let's unwrap you a little bit. I went in between those trees and then I pulled it out. <laughs> Amazing. That was the wrap job saved me because it was wrapped around the right. tail. So I was able to pull it back pull out by, the by tail, its tail. Look at that spinner. Talk about a wild color. Talk about a wild spinner color. Look yeah. at that thing. Wow, that's a fat hand. You could feel, you could feel the eggs in her just just bubbling. What a beautiful what a fish. Beauty. What a beautiful bright spinner. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that spinner real quick and get this fish back in there because I don't want to stress her out too much. I can feel all the eggs inside of her. She hasn't spawned yet. And uh, then we'll get her back out there in the water and uh, get her spawning and stuff. So. Not a steelhead, but still a beauty. What a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. And uh, I'm gonna send it back on its way. What an awesome, beautiful fish. Fun to uh, get the line tight and get into another one. And this, bright pink uh, black body, pink blade, orange tip, hammered blade with a little pink squiggly. There's just so much going on on this spinner, but I really like the way it looks in the water and I think that it's a, uh, I think it's a winner. And uh, apparently it is.
green, dude. All wrapped up. All wrappy. Too bad the drone wasn't in the air yet. I don't even want to hook a fish here. It's gonna be so hard to land it. Talia with another fish. She's just killing it on the green right now. Another hen. Another beautiful hen. I'm a profession now. So here, you gotta get down, step right here. And then you take the tail. Beauty. Oh, what a fish. Look at that spinner, the green one. Bam. All right, let's get him pop her popped off. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't like it when they jerk Open your like bell. that. Open your bell. Ah! Open your bell. Open the bell. Open the bell. Oh no, open the veil. Pull it open. There you go. Hang on, girl. We're going to let you go. I promise. Get you all this. Number four, Ash. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I'm telling you. It is. I think, I think it's a combo. These pink dots on it, just fire. All right, we're going to let Talia's fish go here. Another Vitalia episode. There's one. There's one. Hey, look at that. Hey, Chris is on. Looks like a big one, but it's mighty real. Oh, feisty. I'll come back over. Easier to land over. Oh, did he come off? No, he's there. Oh. Green with the pink tip blade, the brass. Another, another nice hen. Dude, she's got crazy black marks on her. Black stripe. Beauty. Yeah! Let's get another one. Oh, gotcha. I had to fish a spot Talia hadn't hit yet. <laughs> She's on fire. Oh. I bet I get another one up there. Where you just were? Yeah.
There it is. There it is. Is that another? I hate you. I want <laughs> Oh, come on. Swimming up. Tally is green. I'm gonna be using green more now that we brought Tally along. Another hand. There's no way to get over there before you No, we can we can walk upward and hit it which the pack of fish might actually be up there. This one is a beauty. The color on her. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one was really black. Yeah, it had a black line for sure. This one. Black and age or something? Yeah, I mean, they just, get, they just start getting more and more color. This one actually, it's got a pink I hue. Look at that beauty, that thing is sexy. Nice hand right there. Look at the, uh, the coloration on her belly. She's got some red on her, but she still has that chrome look. But uh, she's feisty. I'm gonna get her back in. Pop this uh, RMB green with the pink tip flasher. This one. Oh, chill out, girl. There we go. One more look at her. Just a beautiful coho. Ah, I love this. Never gets old. Let's go. Bam! Uh oh. Cut. 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 Thank you. All right, I'll take Tally up there. Let's go. You're like, I'll cast up there. Let's go for let's go for three in a row. Let's go for three. Come on. Oh yeah, huh? Oh yeah, huh? All right, we can move. Let Talia get another one. And then honestly, like, probably close it out and then get ahead of the coast. Let's go get Talia another one just up the way there. They're loving the green. Well, it's weird, like you can see there's like a study done where when you put colors in water and the deeper it is and that kind of stuff, it changes. Like a blue, like a green turns into a blue. There he is, there he is. You got him? Yeah. Hello. Go ahead and throw it up above me. Oh, uh, hang on, he's a beast. Come here. Another fire truck. So I'm going down river from you. So if you here, I get up here and throw down that seam, have it go through. Another coho. I was really hoping it was a steelhead in that faster water, but nice buck. Come here, buddy. Just gonna let you go. That's just their, their spawning colors. It's like their battle, battle colors. Well, why are some more red than others? Well, the hens, they don't get as red. But like that one you just had, that really light pink one. Oh, yeah. That one. Yeah, doubled up. That's a big ass one. Asher. Asher. Oh, he needs to come over here. We got doubles. I think I can hold this. Asher. Asher, come here! Oh my god, he just oh. broke! Does that count? He broke my thing. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't break it, he spit it. Well, well guys, 
we had a double going. You've seen her on, but uh, I was holding this guy a little bit longer than I wanted to. Just another buck coho, beautiful red colors. He was, man, he was feisty. They love these spinners, man. I wish I could get him past it though and get a steelhead, but I'm not gonna complain too much. Let's go. We doubled almost, kinda. We definitely double, we definitely double hooked up. Five. Do it, do it. You see that pink just flipping through the water. Right. Man, I am so pumped that we were able to uh, hook some fish, you know? Not every day that we just come out here and smash a bunch of fish. Um, you know, it's, it's fishing, so you never know what's gonna happen. But, you know, to have a friend come up from Cali and uh, to get her out on the river where she hasn't fished in so long since she was younger and have her stick some nice fish. Even though it's not the steelhead we're looking for, she's happy, we're happy. We're releasing all these fish happy. So it's a good day. Asher, we're leaving. You said that cast was last cast. <laughs> I was gonna catch a fish on this cast, guys, and then Chris turned the camera on. We have a tendency of hooking up right when the camera goes off. And usually at the end of a hole, we'll turn off the cam and pack stuff up to leave. And someone will be standing here like, oh, you guys aren't completely done yet. And we'll make one whole cast like that. And that'll be that last cast, fish on. But that's a log. <laughs> so. Well, that was fun. Well, guys, I think, uh, I think that's a wrap for the day. Tally, how many fish you catch? Well, five. Five. The last one spit out the thing. Spit the lure out. The we lure had, thing. We had a double going. Um, yeah, we all got fish today. We didn't find that steelhead again. Maybe next time. Probably won't make it out till next week or something. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, it's not every day you just find a random chick on the street and she just beats you in coho fishing. But uh, yeah, I had a blast. It's starting to rain pretty decently, but this is Oregon, baby. We're ready for the rain. It's his Oregon. We're, uh, I think that's gonna be a wrap though, so tune, in. tune in next time. Birthday fishing! Yeah, it was a good day. Yeah. Stay Part tuned two. for more fun action from the bite. Part and uh, keep two. your eyes open for Talia. She'll be joining us for some more uh, random adventures. I think we're gonna get her out on the crab dock next time. <laughs> She's gonna catch crabs. <laughs> <laughs>